Hi, it's Amanda from Livingston Public Library here sharing with you a story time. Before we begin, let's get rid of our wiggles. Wiggle fingers, wiggle so, wiggle high and wiggle low, wiggle left, wiggle right, wiggle fingers out of sight. Now there's no more wiggles left in me so I can sit as still as can be. Our first story is called The Odd Egg, written and illustrated by Emily Gravett. All the birds had laid an egg. There was a robin, and there was hen, and parrot, flamingo, owl, all except for duck. Then duck found an egg. He thought it was the most beautiful egg in the whole wide world. But the other birds did not. That egg is odd, said Owl. He he, said Hen. Not pretty, said Parrot. Ha ha, said Flamingo. It'll never hatch, said Robin. Poor duck. That's not nice. Then, cree crack. Oh, one of the eggs is hatching. It's Robin's egg. Tweet, tweet. Oh, how cute. Cree, crack. Oh, the next one's hatching. Let's see. Cheep, cheep. Oh, it's the little chick. It's Hen's baby. Cree, crack. Oh, look, it's Owl's baby. Oh, and Owl's baby's doing some math. Wow. Cree crack. Oh, look! It's Parrot's baby. Parrot's ha hold. The parrot is holding up a mirror so the baby can look. And the, and the baby parrot says, I'm a pretty boy. Cree crack. Oh, it's baby flamingo. And the baby flamingo is getting a hug from mom. Honk, honk. All the eggs had hatched. All except for ducks. Hmm, what do you think's in there? Duck waited for his egg to hatch. He waited and waited and waited. Oh, look, he's doing some knitting while he waits. Oh, he's made some booties. Looks like he's making a scarf. Until creak crack. Oh, what do you think is inside the egg? Oh, that's a good guess. Oh, that's another good idea. Oh, let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> Snap. Oh, it's a crocodile. Oh my goodness. Were you surprised? Me too. What a great story. The end. Yay. Time for some counting. Oh, I have some parrots to count. Are you ready? Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five. Five squawking parrots ready to soar. One flew away. Now there are how many? That's right, four. Four squawking parrots in a palm tree. One flew away, and now there are how many? That's right, three. Three squawking parrots wonder what to do. One flew away, and now there are... That's right, two. Two squawking parrots sitting in the sun. One flew away, and now there's only... One, yes. One squawking parrot looking for some fun. They flew away, and now there are none or zero. Good counting, yay! The next story I have to share with you is called Chicken Soup, written by Jean Van Leeuwen, illustrated by David Gavril. Oh, what animals on that first page? That's right, cow. And what's the next animal? Sheep. You're right. Cow told sheep. Psst. 
Okay, here's sheep again, and he's talking to what animal? That's right, pig. Sheep told pig. Psst. Okay, here's pig, and pig's talking to, yes, goose. Pig told goose. Psst. Oh, who is goose talking to? That's right, the chickens. Goose told all the chickens. Psst. I wonder what Goose is saying. What do you think? What's the secret? Oh, maybe. Oh, that's another good guess. Let's see. Oh, one chicken is saying, Mrs. Farmer has taken out the big pot. She's making chicken soup. Chicken soup, run for your lives. The chickens all skedaddled out of the hen house. All except for little chickie. What's the matter? asked Red Hen. I've, I've got a cold in my beak, said little chickie. Oh, run anyway, said Red Hen. Little chickie ran. She hid in the hayloft, but all that hay tickled her beak. Sniff, sniff. Suddenly she heard, here, chick, chick, clump, clump, clump. Mr. Farmer's boots came closer and closer. Ah-choo! The chickens all fluttered out of the hayloft and into the milk room. Little Chickie hid in a pail, but all that milk, uh-oh, tickled her beak. Then she heard, here, chick, chick, clump, clump, clump. Mr. Farmer's boots came closer and closer. Ah, choo! The chickens all scattered out of the barn. Better get moving into the sheep meadow. Little Chickie hid between the sheep, but all that wool tickled her beak. Here, chick, chick, clump, clump, clump. Mr. Farmer's boots came closer and closer. Ba, ah, choo! Little Chickie scurried out of the sheep meadow into the pig pen. Better stop that sneezing, snorted pig. Mr. Farmer's on your tail. Sniff, clump. Clomp, clomp. Where could little Chicky hide now? Run, hissed Goose. Better yet, fly. Little Chicky ran. She flapped her little wings, but she couldn't get off the ground. Oh dear. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Mr. Farmer's boots were right behind her. Sniff. She bounced. She somersaulted right into Mrs. Farmer's flower bed. Ah, choo! Ah, there you are, said Mr. Farmer. I've been looking everywhere for you. He carried little Chickie to the kitchen. Uh-oh. Why, you poor little sick Chickie, said Mrs. Farmer. I've made you some nice vegetable soup. Ah, choo! said little chickie. Oh, that was nice. Look, they were taking care of the chickie. Nice warm vegetable soup. Yum. The end. Yay! Those were some fun stories. Are you ready for a song? Wonderful. Will you sing with me, The Wheels on the Bus? You ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 
All through the town, the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. The babies on the bus go where, 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 where. The babies on the bus go where, where, where. All through the town, the adults on the bus say, I love you, I love you, I love you. The adults on the bus say, I love you, all through the town. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Great singing! Yay! Time for a flannel board story based on the song called The Little White Duck. Words by Walt Whippo, music by Bernard Zeritsky. There's a little white duck sitting in the water, a little white duck doing what he order. He took a bite of the lily pad. He flapped his wings and he said, I'm glad I'm a little white duck sitting in the water. Quack, quack, quack. Oh, can you quack like duck? Oh, very good. There's a little green frog swimming in the water. A little green frog doing what he order. He jumped right off of the lily pad that the little duck bit and he said I'm glad I'm a little green frog swimming in the water ribbit 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 oh can you say ribbit like frog let me hear you oh very good there's a little black bug floating on the water a little black bug doing what he order he tickled the frog on the lily pad that the little duck bit and he said I'm glad I'm a little black bug floating on the water chirp 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 oh can you chirp like the bug oh good job there's a little red snake lying in the water a little red snake doing what he order he frightened the duck and the frog so bad he ate the black bug and he said I'm glad I'm a little red snake lying in the water. Oh, can you hiss like the snake? Let me hear you. Oh, good job. Now there's nobody left sitting in the water. Nobody left doing what he order. There's nothing left but the lily pad. The duck and the frog ran away. It's sad that there's nobody left sitting in the water. Boo! Who? Who? Oh, yay! Good singing, everyone. Good job. Next story is called Woodpecker Wants a Waffle by Steve Breen. One morning, Benny awoke to the best tummy rumbling smell. Oh, what do you think he smells for breakfast? Oh, it could be. Oh, that's another good idea. Let's turn the page and find out. So off he flew to investigate. Oh, the sign says grand opening. Moe's, home of the hot waffle breakfast. W-A-F-F-L-E, he read. What in the world is a waffle? The waffle smelled good. The waffles looked good. Oh, the waffles must taste good too, thought Benny. I want waffles, Benny declared. Benny politely pecked on the front door. Tap, tap, tap. But instead of waffles, he got the boot. Oh dear. Next, he tried to sneak in. Oh, look at the woman's dress. It has a pattern on it that looks like birds. Oh, can you see Benny hiding? There he is. But instead of waffles, Benny got swept away. Whap! Benny tried a number of creative disguises. Oh, look, he's got glasses. He's a health inspector. 
Oh my, he's got a Halloween mask. Oh, he's wearing fruit. Dressed up like a baby. Oh, that's silly. Look, he's dressed up like milk. But instead of waffles, he got tossed into the trash. Swoosh. What are you doing, asked Bunny. I am wishing for waffles, said Benny. The animals started laughing. That is ridiculous, Bunny said. One by one, the other animals chimed in. Raccoons don't eat ravioli. Lizards don't eat lasagna. Moose don't eat muffins. Oh, I guess they didn't write... Oh, I guess they didn't read the book if you give a moose a muffin. Frogs don't eat fries, ribbit. Owls don't eat oatmeal. Bears don't eat bagels. Chipmunks don't eat cheeseburgers. Turtles don't eat turnovers. Skunks don't eat scones. Hawks don't eat hot dogs. Coyotes don't eat cupcakes. Snakes don't eat snow cones. And woodpeckers don't eat waffles. Well, why not? Benny asked. Why not? The animals grumbled, chirped, croaked, and whispered. They thought and thought and thought and thought. Because I said so, said Bunny. I really don't have time for this said so nonsense, Benny said impatiently. Benny got right to work devising a plan to get some waffles. First, I will shoot out of a cannon. Foom! Then hit the ground juggling. Then moonwalk and break dance, followed up by a stand up comedy act with a Broadway style finale featuring fireworks. Do you think that will get him waffles? Maybe. The animals were speechless, though Benny was sure he heard some snickering. See you all tomorrow. Don't be late. The next morning, the animals gathered in the field by the diner to catch Benny's big show. No one was late. No one except Benny. As the animals waited patiently for Benny to arrive, the waitress in the diner noticed something odd. The customers noticed something strange too. What are they looking at out the window? That's right, they're looking at the animals all lined up, wondering what they're doing. Everyone at the diner stepped outside to look at the animals. That's when Benny made his move. Oh, look, he's sneaking in. Sweet, said Benny. He's eating the waffles. Oh, that was clever. Were you surprised? Me too. Great story. The end. Yay! For our last story, I have a song. And I'm going to use the flannel board to help tell it. It is called Polly. And it's about a parrot. There was a parrot that I know when Polly was their name. O P O L L Y P O L L Y P O L L Y and Polly was their name. O. Good job. Should we sing it again? Or this time I'm going to turn over the letter P and you see how it's a white circle now? That means we're going to clap. Can you clap with me? Clap. Good job. There was a parrot that I know and Polly was their name. Oh, clap. O-L-L-Y. Clap. O-L-L-Y. Clap. O-L-L-Y. And Polly was their name. Oh. Good job. Okay, now I've turned over two letters, so we're going to clap two times. There was a parrot that I know, and Polly was their name. Oh, clap, clap, L-L-Y, clap, clap, L-L-Y, clap, clap, L-L-Y, and Polly was their name. Oh, great job. Okay, now there's going to be three claps. There was a parrot that I know, and Polly was their name. Oh, clap, 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 L Y, clap, 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 L Y, clap, 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 L Y, and Polly was their name. Oh, excellent job! You ready for a challenge? 
Now there's going to be one, two, three, four claps. There was a parrot that I know, and Polly was their name. Oh, clap, 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 why? Clap, 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 why? Clap, 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 why? And Polly was their name. Oh, oh, super job. Okay, you ready for a really big challenge? Now it's just clapping. There'll be one, two, three, four, five claps. There was a parrot that I know, and Polly was their name. Oh, clap, 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 and Polly was their name. Oh, oh, wonderful, yay! That was an excellent job, good work. Those were some excellent stories. I had so much fun sharing them with you. Did you enjoy them? You did? Oh, that makes me so happy. Will you sing if that you're happy and you know it with me? You will? Great. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Yay! Great singing! See you next time!